This week, I was thinking about our passage, and inside our passage, there's a really special verse. It is a verse that got a special name called the Golden Rule. It's a really important verse that helps us know how to treat others. And this is what it says, do to others what you want them to do to you. It's a really important verse that helps us know how to treat others. I mean, a lot of times it's really easy for us to think about ourselves. We think about what we want for our birthday. What do we want for Christmas? And we think about how maybe we want more or better things than other people. And as we're thinking about these things, we start to forget about how other people feel. Now, sometimes people are in a situation where they don't know what they're going to get for Christmas. They'd be happy if they got something really small, the same situation for their birthday. And sometimes there are kids that might not have gloves to wear outside at recess and their hands get cold. They could really use a pair of gloves. And there are some people who worry, you know, am I going to have food on the table for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? There are some people who worry about really simple things that the rest of us don't really worry about as much because we take it for granted. We always have these things. The thing that would be helpful is to think about the golden rule. And with the golden rule, we think about how we would want to be treated if we were in a situation like that where we didn't have much and maybe we would need some help. There are so many ways that we can help others. But this week, I want to show you one of the ways that you can help right here at our church. Just outside my door on Wednesdays, the third Wednesday of the month, we have a food cupboard where we give food to families in our community in need. If you take a look around, you can see so many people have donated food to help families and kids in our community. And I know that sometimes we've even helped people and kids in our own church or families that have come to programs like Vacation Bible Camp, and it makes a big difference in their lives. So because we take the time to think about how others might be feeling in certain situations, it makes a big difference and it lets people know that we care about them. If we show them that we are willing to treat them the way we want to be treated. If you see someone who's cold and needs some gloves and you give them gloves, you make a world of difference. If you see someone who's sad and you think, I'd want cheering up and you say hello, have a conversation, or maybe bake them some cookies or a cupcake. You've made a world of difference. And then if you know somebody who's hungry and you would struggle to know what it would be like to not have food, but you take the time to bring them some food or you donate some to a local food cupboard, then you make a world of difference. So remember, think about others. Do to others what you would want them to do to you and you too can make a world of difference.